Hi, dear friends. My name is Sergei Shevidov. I'm the founder of Moicha International. And today we will talk about most basic topics, ABC of T. Uh, we continue our series about tea culture. And uh, today we'll talk about what is Gung Fu Cha or, and what is Pin Cha. And especially uh, today's uh, theme is about Pin Cha. Pin Cha in Chinese means literally the trying of a tea or testing of a tea. Uh, pin, it means taste something, and cha, it's tea. And now I have uh, the most basic uh, vessels, tea vessels, which I need for pin cha. Actually, I need loose leaf tea, which I just put in this pot. Especially took a big, bigger pot, just to have a look. But actually, for persons like one to three, we need maybe twice smaller pots. Yeah, but here is a big one. This can be a company for six people. And we have a pot, we have a pitcher or gundao bay or cup of fairness in Chinese and they have a cups uh, here I have two cups uh, but you can have okay more depending on how, how many guests you have this is the most basic thing you need anyway uh, instead of teapot you can also have gaiwan it's literally cup with a lid also traditional uh, Chinese vessel for brewing tea now it's widely spread not only in China but in, a, in other countries of course and uh, yeah Actually, when they have all the vessel, you can start brewing. The main difference between European style of brewing and pincha is when you just have this uh, type of pouring tea, when you make it for several times. When you infuse in tea quite fast, like now, I make it very fast, and I immediately start pouring it to the next vessel, cup of furnace. Why we need a cup of furnace? Because we can equally share uh, the tea uh, with uh, our guests of our tea ceremony. So, for example, one guest already don't have a tea, uh, but you can add only to this person, but they still have, and you have tea here. You don't need to straightly uh, brew tea from the pot, because if you do it like this, you need each time fill all the cups, but you're not sure that all the guests drink tea with the same speed which is why we need cups so it's very practical use of course it's all aesthetics but this is a vessels which need practically for any type of pin cha uh, you can also have tea instruments like bamboo instruments which you can use to put tea, tea out of your hair with tea vessel to the teapot and also have uh, some tea tray of course here we have kind of more natural way. Now I'm in Taiwan and we now on our tea travel, which we do regularly. And uh, yeah, we just sit on the nature. And I really like this kind of nature set. You have some wood, you have some stones, and you can actually make your tea place everywhere. So you can play with the atmosphere when you make your pincha. Uh, but uh, in general, you definitely need, need these vessels. And uh, very shortly about Gung Fu Cha. Gung Fu Cha is more about ceremony than you more focus on uh, the tradition itself. And uh, literally you have the same vessels, but maybe more vessels. You can have tea pad, you can have tea tray, you can have uh, tea instruments, uh, some tools yeah, for yeah, and some cha he. More spend time about telling something about tea for your guests if you work in tea house, for example. Mainly we do pin chai because yeah we're in a way we can talk to someone and we don't have uh, time for longer ceremonies uh, all the time so we use it uh, this way why actually also we pour it so short time we just don't uh, keep tea for long in our kettle because uh, when you pour it this way uh, the tea open up slowly from one infusion to another it opens up all, all its benefits, tastes, fragrances, aromas. And if you just brew it one time, like for a few minutes in one big pot, it's not so delicate taste, actually. And uh, for most of the Chinese, uh, and not only Chinese, other teas, you need uh, this type of brewing to open up its benefits in the best way. Step by step, from one infusion to another, uh, each infusion opens up the best out of the tea. Actually, the first infusion, often we don't drink like for example now i try it a little bit because i do it for tea testing purposes but most of the masters they recommend the first infusion just wash you just wash the leaves and we don't drink it and the second infusion we are already ready to brew how long do you brew it depends of the 
uh, what type of tea do you brew and how, may, how much of tea you put in the vessel, what's the size of the vessel, what's the temperature. This is all can be changed depending on what you want actually. So for example, if we take like a basic teapot about 150 milliliters, maybe we can take like for three to five grams of tea and maybe brew from okay from two to seven seconds depending of how many times you want to brew for example third brew can be a bit longer than the second one and fifth of course even more longer so you kind of look for exposition and how the tea open up for example you try now it's a second brew i try and i can say for example for this vessel maybe because it's a big vessel and i put not so much tea I don't need to fill it fully, I can fill on half and uh, maybe I need to keep it for one or two seconds longer to open up, it's better. So you slowly learn during your kind of tea puff <laughs> how to brew properly and it's completely normal if you can't make the perfect tea just from the first time. You can just slowly start, first take some pot, and experiment with one tea, with another tea, yeah, and step by step you will understand. Because the main focus is how much to put, what type of uh, water to use, which is fitting the tea, and uh, also maybe yeah, the time, uh, the exposition. The water, mostly for most of the teas, uh, like for grain teas, maybe only you can use a little bit colder water, maybe about 80 something degrees. But for most of the other teas, like poor Wolong tea, red tea, you can use hot water 100 degrees. Uh, maybe some delicate reds, you can also a little bit cool down the water, but it's, it all depends, depending on the master, depending on the, your own experience, you can experiment. Here is no straight rules. But you can try your, by your own with the very basic things, which I say, like teapots around 150, 35 grams of tea, 100 degrees water, you fill it fully, the first brew you just flush, we don't drink it, and the second brew, okay, maybe for test 10, maybe for two, three seconds, you can already brew the tea. If you think well, that after the first cup you think, oh, it's not enough taste, you can keep tea for longer for the next infusion. And this is how you can create step by step your own vision, your own feeling about tea. And as long as you experiment, as long as you try, as long as you practice, you'll brew your perfect tea with traditional Chinese pincha style. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave your comments below. I very really appreciate for your subscribe and share your videos with your friends. Hope it was useful. Thank you very much. Have a nice day and of course have good tea.